For centuries, history has painted a picture of the ancient world dominated by men, their triumphs etched in stone and celebrated in tales. But what about the untold stories, the hidden figures who defied expectations and forged their own destinies? In this exploration of ancient Rome, we delve into the lives of extraordinary women who shattered societal norms and took up arms. Join us as we uncover the remarkable yet often overlooked legacy of Roman warrior women. In the heart of the Roman Empire, where the Senate convened and legions marched, women's lives were seemingly confined to the domestic sphere. They were the wives, the mothers, the keepers of the household. Their days were filled with the duties of managing servants, raising children and tending to the needs of their families. This traditional view, however, only tells part of the story. Even within these constraints, Roman women wielded considerable influence. They managed vast estates, engaged in business ventures and shaped the social landscape of their communities. Their lives were a tapestry woven with threads of resilience, determination and an unyielding spirit. Imagine, if you will, the bustling streets of Rome, a city teeming with life and a melting pot of cultures. Amidst the throngs of merchants, artisans and citizens, women from all walks of life navigated this vibrant world. While their roles may have appeared limited on the surface, their contributions to Roman society ran deep. They were the bedrock of families, the nurturers of future generations, and the silent influences of emperors and senators. From the humblest of homes to the grandest villas, women played an integral role in the social fabric of ancient Rome. They were the keepers of tradition, passing down customs and beliefs from one generation to the next. Their influence extended beyond the household, shaping the moral compass of Roman society. Yet, beneath the surface of domesticity lay a hidden strength, a fierce spirit waiting to be unleashed. History whispers of women who dared to break free from societal expectations, who defied the norms and carved their own paths. These were the women who took up arms, who rode into battle alongside their male counterparts, and whose courage and valor challenged the very foundations of Roman society. Roman society, much like the empires it conquered, was built upon a foundation of order and hierarchy. At the heart of this structure lay the traditional family unit, with women expected to fulfill their designated roles as wives and mothers. This societal framework, however, could not contain the spirit of all Roman women. Some yearned for more than the confines of domestic life, their hearts stirred by the call of adventure and the allure of the unknown. These women, driven by an unquenchable thirst for freedom and a desire to forge their own destinies, looked beyond the traditional boundaries set before them. They saw the Roman legions marching off to distant lands, their banners fluttering in the wind and felt a stirring within their own souls. The clash of swords, the thunder of hooves, the stories of valor and conquest, these ignited a fire in their hearts, a yearning to prove their mettle on the battlefield. The Roman ideal of womanhood with its emphasis on domesticity and obedience did little to quell the burning ambition that flickered within these unconventional women. They refused to be defined solely by their gender, choosing instead to embrace the warrior spirit that coursed through their veins. Their defiance was not an act of rebellion but rather a testament to their unwavering belief in their own capabilities. They understood that courage and strength were not exclusive to men, that the battlefield held no prejudice against those who possessed the will to fight. These women, though bound by societal expectations, found ways to circumvent the constraints placed upon them. Some disguised themselves as men, their true identities hidden beneath armor and cloaked in the heat of battle. Others, emboldened by their convictions, openly challenged the status quo, demanding to be recognized for their skills and their unwavering loyalty to Rome. Like fragments of ancient mosaics, scattered clues hint at the existence of these Roman warrior women. Historians piecing together the shards of the past have uncovered tantalizing evidence of their exploits. Ancient texts, though often biased towards a male perspective, offer glimpses of these extraordinary women who defied convention. Inscriptions on weathered tombstones speak of their courage, their names forever etched in stone. One such inscription tells the story of a woman named Aelia Sentia, whose tombstone depicts her clad in armor, a sword at her side. The inscription hails her as a virago, a term used to describe women who possess the strength and courage of men. Though her story remains shrouded in mystery, her tombstone stands as a testament to the existence of Roman warrior women. Archaeological digs have unearthed further evidence, revealing the skeletal remains of women buried with weapons, their bodies bearing the scars of battle. These silent witnesses to the past offer irrefutable proof that women, far from being relegated to the sidelines, actively participated in the defense and expansion of the Roman Empire. 
Among the artifacts recovered from ancient burial sites are intricately crafted pieces of armor designed to fit the female form. These remnants of a bygone era speak volumes about the women who once donned them, women who were not content to sit idly by while their fathers, husbands and sons marched off to war. The discovery of these artifacts has challenged long-held assumptions about the role of women in ancient Rome. It has forced historians to re-examine the narratives they tell, to look beyond the traditional accounts and acknowledge the contributions of women who dare to break free from societal constraints. What drove these women to embrace the life of a warrior? What skills did they possess that allowed them to stand shoulder to shoulder with their male counterparts on the battlefield? While historical accounts offer limited insight into their training, we can piece together a picture of the skills they would have needed to survive the brutal realities of ancient warfare. Imagine, if you will, a young woman, her heart set ablaze by the tales of Roman legions returning victorious from distant campaigns. She watches, her eyes filled with a mixture of awe and longing as the soldiers parade through the streets, their armor glinting in the sunlight, the clang of their swords, the rhythmic thud of their boots on the cobblestones. It all speaks to a yearning deep within her soul. Determined to prove her worth, she seeks out the tutelage of retired veterans, men who have witnessed firsthand the horrors of war, but also its intoxicating allure. Under their watchful eyes, she begins her transformation from a demure young woman into a formidable warrior. She learns to wield a sword, the weight of it becoming an extension of her own body. Hours are spent practicing thrusts and parry, her movements growing swifter, more precise with each passing day. The once unfamiliar feel of leather and metal against her skin becomes second nature as she masters the art of donning armor. Beyond the physical demands of combat, she hones her mind studying military strategy and tactics. She learns to anticipate her opponent's moves, to exploit weaknesses and to turn the tide of battle in her favor. Her body and mind, tempered in the crucible of training, become as one, a weapon forged in the fires of determination. The annals of Roman history, though often dominated by the exploits of emperors and generals, bear witness to the courage and valor of several remarkable women who took up arms. Their stories, passed down through generations, serve as a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who dared to defy societal norms and carve their own paths in a world dominated by men. One such legend is that of Fulvia, a woman of noble birth and unyielding ambition. Married first to Publius Clodius Pulcher, a prominent politician, and later to Mark Antony, one of Julius Caesar's most trusted generals, Fulvia was no mere passive bystander in the tumultuous world of Roman politics. She was a shrewd strategist, a skilled negotiator, and a fearless leader in her own right. When her husband, Mark Antony, was away on campaigns, Fulvia took charge of his affairs, proving herself to be a capable administrator and a formidable force to be reckoned with. But it was during the turbulent period following Julius Caesar's assassination that Fulvia truly cemented her place in history. With Rome teetering on the brink of civil war, she rallied her husband's supporters, raised armies, and led them into battle against the forces of Octavian, Caesar's adopted heir. Another remarkable figure is that of Boudicca, the warrior queen of the Iceni tribe in Roman-occupied Britain. Her story is one of defiance, courage, and ultimately tragedy. When Roman forces seized her lands, flogged her, and violated her daughters, Boudicca's fury knew no bounds. She united the disparate Celtic tribes under her banner, her fiery speeches igniting a rebellion that shook the Roman Empire to its core. Leading her forces from the front, Boudicca and her warriors sacked Roman settlements, their thirst for vengeance fueled by years of oppression. Though her rebellion was ultimately crushed, Boudicca's legend lived on, a symbol of resistance against tyranny. As we've journeyed through the captivating world of Roman warrior women, we've uncovered stories of courage, resilience and an unyielding spirit that challenged the very fabric of their society. These women, though often overlooked by history, left an indelible mark on the Roman world. Their stories remind us that the human capacity for bravery and determination knows no gender bounds. We encourage you to delve deeper into the lives of these extraordinary women and discover the countless others whose stories are waiting to be unearthed. Share their stories, celebrate their achievements and let their legacy inspire generations to come. By understanding the diverse experiences of those who came before us, we gain a richer, more nuanced perspective on our own world. Let us continue to explore the hidden corners of history, to challenge assumptions, and to celebrate the remarkable contributions of all individuals, regardless of gender or societal expectations. <laughs>